been a couple of days. The sticks have dried pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is get some of this excess bark off of this. This is the shorter of the two sticks. And there was quite a bit of bark left on it from the other day. We're just gonna try and take a little bit more off. Now the only reason I really do this is it just makes it a little faster to sand. You know, time sanding versus time peeling the extra bark off. You know, it's 50-50. Um, only thing about this is I'm not working anywhere near as hard as the sanding. And believe me, that makes a big difference. So once I get this done, then I will do the other stick now. I've said before, I'm gonna do both of these sticks at the same time, but I hope to get two completely different results out of them. In other words, I'm not gonna copy each stick with the same theme. And again, I'm gonna speed this up so you don't just sit here and watch me. Because I don't want any of you taking a nap on me. <laughs> it's kind of boring and Sometimes I fall asleep even. I'm not worried about getting all of it, but the stuff that's really loose or really thick, like this stuff right here, looks like it's probably two or three layers deep from the bark. It comes off pretty easily. So. Tell me how you guys do this without using like a big rasp. I mean, I wouldn't mind hearing that story either, but basically I wanna know how the you guys and gals, sorry, do this without really tearing the wood up. Nothing against tearing the wood up. If that works for you, that's great. We can't all do it the same way. We can't all have the same looking sticks. So variety is great. So yeah, just let me know how you do this either way. And also some constructive criticism. I'm a waste of my time. I don't believe I am. All right, we're gonna call this good. I don't expect much on this one, but of course, as soon as I open my mouth, then it'll prove me wrong. This really came off easy. This one had more than likely been dead for quite a while. It's a bigger, bigger branch, so I think it was lower on the tree. And it was one of the first branches to die on the tree. And that was <laughs> pretty much it. So now we're going to uh, get started on the sanding. Go back to the shorter stick first. New piece of sandpaper.
to my usual start at the top. The other thing about getting the bark off is the bark seems to plug up the sandpaper pretty fast. And yes, my fingers get hot sometimes. When that happens, I know I'm working too hard. Time to slow down. All right, so here it is. Got the first sanding. See what thread I'm using here. I believe this is a uh, either 100 or 120 anyway. So it looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna like it. So this is the first one. What I need to do right quick is I need to cut this end off. Of course, I don't have my saw with me, my hand saw. But anyway, I'm going to straighten up both of these ends. And then I think I will work on getting a cap on the bottom. Some kind of foot. I'm going to do the next one just like I did this one. I'm not going to video any of it. It's just just boring. But I'll give you a side by side when I get them all done. And I got some different ideas floating around in my head how I'm going to do this. So we'll see if I can make it work. All right, new day today. Last night I was uh, going to show you how to put a foot how I put a foot on the end of a stick. Unfortunately, my camera person didn't hit record. However, we have two sticks. So this one's ready to put a foot on it. Okay? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use copper. Three quarter, one inch. So... 100% chance that neither one of these are going to fit. And I'm going to say the one inch is too big. Let's check it out. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see the stick moving around. One inch is too big. The three quarters is too small, which was just like the stick yesterday. These are almost identical size on the tip. So how I'm going to get started here is I'm going to just do a quick measurement. About right there, I'm going to make a little line with my knife. So that line now is going to become my guide. And I'm going to take that line all the way around. If it's not perfect, that's okay. We'll make it perfect at the very end here. And I can tell you, it's not perfect. <laughs> that's so close, though. All right. So we've got a line in it there. Not sure if it's going to focus on it. Now what I'm going to do is I need to take off it looks like about an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to start in one spot here. And I'm just going to start shaving a little bit off. And when I do this, I'm starting at the line and coming back. Now that's, that's going to make it a little bit bigger at the line, but that's okay because we're going to, 
trim that as we go up. We're going to take a little off at a time. So just keep going right around it here. And this usually takes two or three tries to get this. Maybe more. But again, I'm retired. I got all day. This stick is sanded. It's for sanding. And that's about 100, 120. I can't remember for sure. And then I will go back over it with 220 on the second sanding. And then I will stain it. Now before I give it the second standing, we're also going to put lanyard holes in these. So that it can sand those up nice and neat. Because I haven't got me the proper bit yet. All in due time. No sense buying everything at once, and you won't have nothing to worry about, right? All right, that's going to give us our first round. Not sure if it's going to show up, but there's a little bit there. Now, hey, check that out. First try, I got it on about halfway. That's pretty good. So since we're about halfway, I'm just going to turn it and go the other way now. My knife, that is. Very carefully. I don't recommend cutting on your leg like this. I did that Boy Scout camp one year. Three stitches later, right here in my leg. I felt a lot better. A little one on a big old piece of wood, I was going to make a boat. Use an exacto knife. Good clean cut. Scar slowly disappearing, it'll always be there, but. Oh, that's a pretty funny story, I forget about that. And I hate needles. Doctor wanted to put a needle in it and deaden it. And I said, nope. I don't want any deadener. I got three stitches without any deadening. So you tell me which makes more sense. <laughs> I think I know what you're going to say here. But hey, I was young. Just about got her here. Little tiny bit more. is my line wasn't perfectly straight so I have a little spot here I gotta dig out make it look a lot nicer it's always the hard part here getting this uniform across this I 
could actually live with that, but we're going to try and get it just a little bit better. Alright, I can totally live with that. There it is. Now I'll just put a little epoxy in there and glue that stick on, but that doesn't come until after we've got the finish on it. So, I will draw, I will drill the lanyard holes in both of these sticks. Everybody's seen people drill holes, so I won't bore you with that, but I have the top mostly sanded. Like I say, I got a couple ideas how I'm going to finish that. So, we'll bring you back for the next part of the video. Not today. Probably not until next week. So anyway, hope you're enjoying this series. We're going to keep rocking and rolling on this thing. And hopefully by the end of the year, <laughs> we'll have ourselves a new walking stick. I hope. Have a good day. Take care.